As I promised, I'm going to make a couple of tutorial videos. Uh, this first one's going to be how I make my robes. So I'm going to do it step by step for y'all. So you guys can make your own Jedi robes. Uh, it's really easy actually. So just follow the video and uh, you'll get robes that turn out just like this. So, so the first part is obviously cutting it out. Um, you always want to cut extra in terms of length and on the sleeves. Uh, that way you can always, you know, once it's done, you can you can cut away the extra. If you do it too short, you can't add the fabric back on. So you start off by basically just laying your figure out and cutting this pattern. Um, you want to make sure the fabric is laid out like that because this is where the the hole or for the slot for the hood and then you're going to cut down but once you have the pattern cut what you're going to do from there is start at the bottom and you're going to sew up to the to the elbow or the armpit excuse me and then you're just going to come around and then go all the way through so i'm going to go ahead and sew this and then i will go from there all right now that you have it sewn i know it looks super wonky and it doesn't look straight at all, but that's okay. So if I lay my figure on here, I've got enough width and where I sewed the arms, I've got enough enough length as well. So what you're gonna do from here is take your scissors and just cut up along here, leave space right here and I'll tell you why, but then you're gonna cut along here too. Now the key, the trick, don't cut super close to your thread because all you're going to do is when you flip it inside out if you cut too close you're just going to break the seam so leave you know i would say about that much between your seam and and you know how much excess you want about two or three millimeters so i'm going to go ahead and cut that out and uh and then i'll go from there okay so now that i have all my excess cut off what i was talking about with the armpit is you want to take a scissors and you see how I left some space there? You take a scissors and you're gonna cut a slit right there. That way when you flip it inside out, the armpit doesn't bunch up. This will give it separation so that it won't bunch up when you flip it inside out and it looks bad. So do that to both sides. Just make that little, little snippet. From there, <clears throat> fold it in half and it should be relatively even on both sides all the way down. So fold it in half so you got it right in the middle. And what you're gonna do, take your scissors, and here you don't wanna cut this too big. I've done this in the past and I've messed up a lot of robes. So make a super small niche. And then from there, just kind of cut that out and you can always make that bigger but for now you don't want it to be huge you just want it big enough so that you have a guideline so now you're going to take your scissors line it up right in the middle and cut all the way up so now you have the base for your robe. So when we flip it inside out, it's starting to come together and actually look like a Jedi robe. Um, so the key is, I mean, you can flip it inside out to look at it so far, look at your work, but you don't want to forget to flip it back. <laughs> Because if you do, you'll mess up your seam and then you'll sew a seam backwards and then you'll have to just pitch and scratch the whole thing. So flip it back inside out. <clears throat> From here, what you're going to do is take and just fold this over ever so slightly. And you're going to sew that all the way down like so. So when it is inside out, it'll be a nice flush seam. It won't look... <clears throat> jagged and you know shitty because of the scissor cut it just gives it a more professional look in my opinion um, 
it isn't a necessary step, but it definitely helps to bring the robe uh, together, make it look look better. That looks a lot better than that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and sew the seam, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So now that I have my seam sewn, from there I'm gonna actually flip it inside out now, or right side out. Just kind of lay it out. So sometimes I shut, uh, sometimes I sew straight lines. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> uh, like I said, practice. Honestly, I've probably made a couple hundred of these damn rubs by now. But um, practice, and, and you'll get you'll get better. So like obviously, yeah, that line looks straight. This line's a little crooked, but it is what it is. So um, now that you have the base of your robe done. Now it's time to do the hood. So I'm going to cut the pattern for the hood and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so this is the pattern that you want to do for your hood. When you unfold it, it kind of looks like a bow tie. But yeah, so lay your fabric like so, where the top of the hood is going to be connected. And for the front, just cut basically a straight line. You can angle it slightly, but for the back, you definitely want to have not a huge curvature, because if you, if you do a damn diagonal, then your hood is going to be you know this wide or this wide in the front so you want it to keep it wide but cut a subtle diagonal and here again you know make it big um, don't worry about it being too big because you can always cut away extra fabric obviously you don't want to waste fabric but you know with moderation so from here what I'm gonna do is I'll start at the bottom and I'm gonna sew up and I'm gonna angle as I sew so my seam is probably going to end about there so that'll give me the width I want on my hood and then from there I will show you guys how you're going to attach it to the rope alright now that I have it sewn what you want to do is cut the extra slack off again and like I said make sure it's long lengthwise so then you're going to want to cut all that extra off I usually make them about two inches um, I like that that length personally, but when you flip it inside out, now you have a hood. So uh, the more you angle your seam, the less point you're going to have. Uh, if you push it all the way out, obviously, yeah, you're going to have a, a big point. So I usually kind of just push it in a little bit, but for the most part, it looks good. From here, you want to flip your rope inside out again. So you don't want to do it this way. Flip it inside out because it'll lay flat. It lays nice. What you're going to do is fold it in half make sure it's even. You're going to take your scissors and cut at an angle. What that's going to do is give you a guideline for where the middle of your hood is going to go. So, when you lay it out, it should come, you know, the middle of the hood should come all the way over to where the edge of your robe is. So if you, you know, if you cut it too big, you screw it up. So my recommendation, cut small, and you can always go back and cut more. Um, I've just done it so many times, I, I know pretty much the exact amount to cut off. So this is perfect, that's how I want it. Now from there, now that I have it inside out, both my hood and my robe, I'm gonna take my sewing machine, I'm gonna start right in the middle, and I'm gonna sew out. You don't wanna sew in, always sew out to the edge. So I'm gonna sew this real fast, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so typically when I sew my hoods on, after I cut that, that snippet to give myself the reference, I flip it back to how it, the right side out. And then I flip the hood inside out and I sew it. So basically from the back, everything's right side. I messed up a little bit there, but no biggie. Um, I've sewn on plenty of hoods upside down, backwards, inside out. And, uh, and then I had to, you know, cut it off and, and scratch the project or start all over. So 
make sure you sew it the right way um, to avoid a situation like that. So I'm gonna sew the other seam now, and uh, pretty much that's it. So I'll uh, sew this, and then we'll do the sizing and the fitting, and we'll cut off any extra slack we have, and uh, that'll be it. All right, so got the hood on, looks good. I'm happy with it. Now it comes to sizing it up. So what I always do is flip it inside out again. Just lay it down so it's flat. Now take your figure and lay them on it. And as you can see, I've got extra slack at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is, judging off the figure, I'm gonna just cut that extra. Trying to cut a straight line. So now I got the length I want. Now, here's the key with the arms. So when the figure, I'll just show you, you wanna leave extra length in the arms because if you think about it, you don't want to cut the length right up to the hands because when you bend the figure's arms, it's going to be like a flood, high waters. It's going to come up. So for the arms, I always put it on the figure and see what it looks like. So let's put it on old Ben here. Obviously, that's way too long. So, if I have it on the shoulders, you want a little, you know, a little bend or a little length. So when you bend his arms, you know, you have some slack. You don't want it. Like I said, if you cut it too short and then you bend the arms, you're going to be looking like that. <laughs> you don't want that. So I do have a little extra length. So judging that, I'm going to take it off and cut about half an inch off. Alrighty, so cut some length off. Uh, I'm happy with that length. So that's it basically. Now you have a Jedi robe. Um, depending on the fabric you use, as you can see the hood, <laughs> um, I like to use um, knit fabric. It's got, it's got some stretch to it. Uh, it sews really well. Um, but all you gotta do for that is just literally hot water. So turn your sink on, uh, make it hot water, and actually put the robe under the water. Don't like dab it, you know what I mean? Just soak that bitch, get it wet. And then once it's wet, you can shape it and it will dry like that. And it will dry and stay and keep that form and keep that shape. Um, but if you don't, you know I mean, otherwise it's just gonna continually pop up. So I always, yeah, like I said, hot water, and then you can lay it down how you want it, and it when it, when it dries, it'll stay in that form. But uh, that's it. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, you know, like it, comment, give me some feedback, tell me what you all think. Uh, but this is how to make a Jedi robe, or at least how I make my Jedi robes. So like I said, hope you all enjoyed. Keep City out.